is a place in the nation's heartland where the quality of life is second to none. A place where hard work, determination, and a strong sense of family are the foundations for success, whether it's on a wheat field or in a high-rise office building. Wichita and Sedgwick County residents take great pride in developing their community into one of the greatest assets of the Midwest. One of the more beautiful and marketable resources in this community is the Arkansas Little Arkansas River system that runs through Sedgwick County. Just take a look along the banks of the rivers and you can see the reality of bold visions citizens once had for taking advantage of this natural resource. However, land near the rivers wasn't always considered prime property. During the first half of the 20th century, these rivers were much more of a liability to some areas, including downtown Wichita. The Wichita area was subject to flooding from three sources, the Chisholm Creeks, which is where the Canal Route Highway is now, from the Little Arkansas River and from the Big Arkansas River. The area between about a block or two east of the canal and over near Seneca flooded quite often in the period from the founding of the city up until the big floods in 1944 and 1945. The average daily water flow rate of the Arkansas River Basin is well below the flood stage. However, there are more than 40,000 square miles which drain into the rivers and its tributaries. This means that runoff from an area half the size of Kansas drains into the river system. Even just a few inches of rain would raise the water level of the river system well out of its banks. In 1936, Congress authorized $20 million for a proposal meant to unburden the area from frequent flooding. The undertaking was called the Wichita Valley Center Flood Control Project. This project would later become one of the greatest success stories in the Midwest. Hey, because there are no locations in the Wichita and Sedgwick County area for large reservoirs, the flood control system was developed by the Corps of Engineers following the 1936 floods in the Midwest, uh, which was called the Pick Sloan Plan. That plan envisioned diverting water from the Little Arkansas River into a levied channel of the Arkansas River and from there across country into the Big Slough and again across country into Cowskin Creek and finally across country and back into the Big Arkansas River near Derby. It is a diversion project with levees and channels to support the collection and distribution of the flow. Locally known as the Big Ditch, this project incorporated man-made diversion canals to handle floodwaters from the river system. The Big Ditch took decades to design and construct, and by the late 1950s, it was completed. The local sponsors for that Corps of Engineers project were the city of Wichita and Sedgwick County in a rare opportunity for cooperation. and. Uh, they supported the original plan up until the time that the construction started, bought the right-of-way, relocated utilities, and the bridges. I think this, rep this project represents one of the best opportunities for the City Commission and the County Commission to cooperate. And through that long period of time between the 1945 flood and the 1957 when the project proved itself uh, valuable, they took a lot of heat and there were several political uh, careers that were lost because of their willingness to, to continue to support a very unpopular project locally. Many people who live in Wichita know that the Big Ditch was built to prevent flooding and they know that it works. What remains a mystery to some is exactly how the project works. The system operates quite simply uh, in that the fact that it gathers water from the north and western edges of the city and accumulates it into a channel and then meters flow through the center of the city and that flow that cannot go through the center of the city bypasses around the edges of the city, thus preventing the core of the city of Wichita from flooding. There are three main control structures which allow this flood control system to work. First, let's take a look at the control structure that is located on the Little Arkansas River Channel at Valley Center. This control structure limits the amount of water which can flow downstream on the river. Only 4,000 cubic feet of water per second is allowed to pass through this control structure. When heavy rain causes the water flow to exceed that rate, here's what happens. The water begins to gather in a pool behind the control structure, then automatically diverts into the Little River Diversion Channel. Man has to do nothing to make this work. It all happens automatically, simply because only a limited amount of water is able to physically pass through the control structure each second. 
Downstream from Valley Center, there is another control structure in North Wichita. This is located just beyond the confluence of the Little Arkansas and the Chisholm Creek Diversion Channel. This control structure allows only 5,500 cubic feet of water per second to pass through it. Now, if the water flow exceeds that rate, the same process will happen here. Water will begin to pool behind this berm and then be automatically diverted down a second diversion channel. The last point of diversion in this chain of flood control measures takes place on the Arkansas River near West Street and I-235 in Wichita. The control structure at this location allows a little more than 20,000 cubic feet of water per second to pass through and flow downstream through Wichita. Any excess water is diverted to the Big Ditch, which rejoins the Arkansas River south of Wichita near Derby. The three control structures are the main components of this flood control system. However, there are many smaller components, such as the local drainage outlets and the levees along the river, that have to work together in order for this project to be successful. In addition, the system also handles uncontrolled flows of the Big Slough, Cowskin Creek, and the Wichita Drainage Canal, all of which drain an additional 200 square miles into this system. In 1993, there were floods all over the Midwest, the United States, and Kansas and Wichita in particular. Uh, was not immune to those floods. Uh, the floodway itself ran about three-fourths to seven-eighths full for about a month. Uh, we were quite concerned about the integrity of the system holding up. It did. It performed really well and saved the city of Wichita and Sedgwick County millions of dollars in flood damage. To date, the Corps of Engineers estimates that $246 million in flood damages have been prevented due to the success of this system. Given the fact that the project cost $20 million to build, it has paid for itself more than 12 times over. In order for this project to continue, Wichita and Sedgwick County split the responsibility for removing debris, repairing eroded areas, and other maintenance type of work. Preserving the big ditch costs about $1.3 million a year. The flood control project has been one of the driving factors of successful development in the Wichita Sedgwick County area. Hotels, museums, and homes have been built in the low-lying areas near the rivers which were once prone to flooding. This successful project has turned a damaging liability into an exquisite natural resource for the entire community to enjoy.